Hey everybody, I purchased the Magic Burnout um, module from ZTech and I have installed it and I'm really happy with it. I followed the instructions and I ran into a couple of little issues there so I made a video of the gotchas that I ran into but I want to make sure that I add this disclaimer that I'm not recommending that anyone modify their automobile using the ZTech product. I have no affiliation with ZTech. Um, these are just some uh, gotchas that I ran into, so I thought I'd make a video to help people out. Thanks for watching. Okay, everybody. Um, this is our 2003 DE350Z that we've done the Magic Burnout mod on from ZTech. And I am making this video at the end, um, but I forgot to mention in my previous videos that the very first thing you want to do is disconnect your battery which is under here because you're going to be cutting wires and you don't want to accidentally make a mistake. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and show you because we just finished this up. The very last step of this is your ECU work in here. And we went ahead and took off this plastic panel just to make it easier because I'm having, I had to lay down in here for so long to get the wires right and everything. And these are your, your last two wires that are going to be ran all the way over here to the magic burnout switch. And I'm gonna make sure and tuck those up really nice and tight so that no one's feet can get in there. But this is the, I made this the very last step because we did this over a couple of days and we, we were able to drive around without this part hooked up. And we still have the rest of it all back together. So anyway, um, this has been a fun project for me and my son and um, we've already tested it and it works out well. And I recommend it. This is the yaw sensor. You can see on the sides of it here are these pins you have to squeeze in. I had to stick a screwdriver through here. I had to stick a th screwdriver through here to push on this side while I pinched with my fingers on this, on this side to gently wiggle it back and forth to get it out. And now I'm having to slice this insulator so that I can cut this red and white wire to install my magic burnout switch drift switch okay this is a uh, another part of the magic burnout um, drift switch from ztech uh, that I I should have shown this part so on this, instead of a gray wire, it's an orange wire for the power wire coming out of our yaw plug, yaw sensor plug. And so I just stripped a little bit away from it and I wrapped this power cable for the, our ZTech, there's our ZTech module. And I just wrapped it around there and then I used a soldering iron to just put a little bit of solder, a little bit of heat on there. So that it wouldn't come loose and then I put a whole bunch of electrical tape around it and then electrical taped around this wiring group since I removed all of this wiring harness right here or this wire this um, insulator and uh, I'm also he he included these bullet connectors but I'm just putting shrink wrap over them because I'm not planning on taking these undone again anytime soon so I'm just shrink wrapping just to make sure that these connectors don't come loose on us um, so that's where I'm at with this one I'm about to shrink wrap that and then I'll be able to plug this back in right here and we'll have this part of it done and then we just have to do the ECU wiring which are these two wires that are left over right here and then I'm gonna mount this uh, nice switch right okay here I put a bunch of electrical tape around that whole wiring harness and put that wiring harness that I slit back around all of the wires that are reconnected to the new uh, ZTech module. And um, we are going to have to pull the top of this light. We show the top of the light. Yes, sir. We're going to have to pull that out of this connector so that we can drill the hole and, and mount it inside of the center console can you show the lines so we drew a line across the threads and on the side of this so that we can plug it back in the correct way 
Um, after this, all we have to do is run the red wire and the black wire up to the ECU and put everything back together. Okay, this is the uh, center console and this is the uh, coin tray. I decided I wanted this to kind of be like James Bond, so I actually am mounting the button inside of here. Um, there's a couple things, reasons why I wouldn't recommend this. One is whenever I was drilling this out, it split, and so I had to put um, epoxy on the back and paint it black again. And also, we already have this button right here that's hard to plug and unplug, and now we have another button that's going to be difficult every time that we have to remove this center console. So the button looks really cool mounted inside of the coin tray because look, it's hidden. It's James Bond. But you can see I accidentally got through the plastic with the Dremel and it's very hard to plug in so it is not worth it doing. Okay, this is the pin 101 magic burnout modification part and the thing that's confusing is it shows 101 highlighted down here but in the picture it shows 93 also in every video I've pulled up it shows that it's a blue and orange wire mine is a 2003 350z and see how they show pin number 93 down here with the red dot and the red arrow and it has this warning in red I also, on all the videos I watched, they are pulling out and clipping um, pin 93 instead of 101, but the title of all the videos say 101. This is a really weird part. I'm going to be really careful and show you this. Also, you have to take this thing off, and you'll see it has these little pins on the end. So you have to pinch in like this. But you also have to take a little flathead and help pry out those pins while you're doing that. It goes over this wiring harness. So let me fold this over. If you look at this, on this side right here, that's pin 101. And if you look under here, it's a solid blue wire that's back there. It's hard to see in here, but it's a solid blue wire. Now if I flip it all the way over, just like all the videos I've seen on on how to do this, there is in fact a blue and orange wire. You can actually see the orange right there. See it? That's going to pin 93 from the diagram. And all the diagrams say 93 instead of 101, so I'm totally confused on this part. But since all of them clip this blue and orange wire, that's the one I'm going to clip. Okay, I've completed the magic burnout from ZTEC modification. So you can see right now I don't have any lights on. Come down here to my magic burnout button and flip my James Bond hatch. You can see the button right here. I'm gonna press the button. You can see it flashing, go off. And now we are in magic burnout mode. And to turn it back to stock, we have to come over here and push the button again. And now we have to turn the car off and start the car again. And you can see now we're back in stock mode.